Whoa, look at the back! Wait a second. That looks like a played card. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna to be opening some epic packs for 80,000 subscribers, so thank you guys. Everyone who subscribed, we're over 80,000 now. That is insane, only 20,000 away from 100K. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be opening today. We're gonna to be opening 24 first edition tactical evolution, and that's not it. Yeah, that's like a whole box, that's insane. We could get the rainbow dragon again, which would be nuts. We also have nine Dark Revelation 1, which is going to be cool. You can get some cool stuff in these. And you got some old school reprints. You got to love those. And uh, we have one Duel Spack Battle City. So that'll just, that's just a throw in. And then the final two, we're opening two more first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. These were the ones that were not the heaviest. They were in the range where I pulled that polymerization. So we don't know if they're necessarily going to have foils, but they're, they should. So we'll see. All right, but before we do that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a playset of Swords of Revealing Light. And you're like, wait, what's the deal with these? Blue name, green name, and silver name. These are Duelist League cards. So they're actually kind of somewhat rare. You don't see these very often. The blue name looks really cool to me. And then there's the green, which kind of blends in with the magic card, and then the uh, silver version. So it's pretty cool. To enter that giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite moment from the channel in the first 80,000 subs, all the epic videos we've had. Let me know your favorite moment, video, whatever. Let's get into the opening. It's gonna be a long one. Grab your popcorn. Hope you guys enjoy this long, special video. All right, so first we're gonna open this Tactical Evolution. I've opened like over 100 Tactical Evolution packs and I've never actually pulled a Secret Rare. So we've pulled the Ghost Rare, we've pulled Ultimate Rares, we've never pulled the Secret Rare. So maybe we can do that today. Okay, here we go. So uh, obviously, Secret Rares are what we want, but uh, Ill Blood would be insane. That's a really great Secret Rare out of the set. We would love to pull the Ghost again. That would be great as well. Ultimate Rare, Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, boom. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, boom. Yeah, if we pull that again, maybe we'll give another boom. That'd be crazy. All right, the Gift of the Greed. It's just an Ultra, but it's also an Ultimate as well. Venom Burn. We got the Venom Serpent. There's some good uh, commons and rares in here as well. Aquarian Alessa, there's a super rare right off the bat. Okay, that's cool. These are loose packs. So you never know what you're gonna get from these. It could be great ratios, it could be terrible. You know, that's just how it goes. So we got an Aquarian Alessa. That's a good start to get a foil though. Next, let's go with a Dark Revelation Volume 1. So in here, I think you can get Necros. I think this is one where they could have put Dark Magician Girl in here because they like did Magician's Force reprint, but they didn't actually put it in there. So it's very weird. Okay, we got tip card number 45. A good strategy is to play with cards that will reward you for the things you normally do, such as Tribute Summon. I hope you guys take that in mind. You want to Tribute Summon. When you're playing modern Yu-Gi-Oh, Tribute Summoning is the best way. There you go. And there's our rare right off the bat, a Gravekeeper's Chief. I don't remember if it has a rare and a foil. I think it's just a rare. Not sure, though. We can, we can figure it out. Infernal, Archfiend, Despair from the Dark, Sonic Duck. That's pretty cool. Guardian, Chaist. Oh! Rux and Special. Guardian tries. I thought that was a foil for a second. Miracle Restoring. Battle Scarred. Yeah, that, yeah, this is a Dark Crisis reprint, so you can definitely get Exodia Necros. Mustering of Dark Scorpions. And Wicked Flamberg Bow. Oh, there's another one. Checkmate. We got our chest going on. Okay. Tactical Evolution. Hope you guys enjoy this longer video, special video. Thanks again for 80,000 subscribers. That is so crazy. That is way past what I ever expected, so that's really cool. Rise of the Snake Deity. We got a Dawnbreak Gardener. Convert Contact. Dark Effigy. There we go. And Snake Rain. There it is. It got reprinted. I think it's still like six bucks or something. Because when I opened a box with the old school expert, you guys can check out that video. Uh, I said, I was like, well, I think it just got reprinted. It should not be worth much, but it was still worth quite a bit. So actually pretty good pull. Snake Rain is a great rare. It was like over 10 bucks, I think, before the reprint, which is cool. We have mostly Tactical Evolution, so we're going to do like a few in a row when we do Tactical Evolution. All right, we're going to save those LOB. Maybe we'll do one in the middle. Maybe we'll do them at the end. Who knows? Ojama Knight is like a $3 common still, so that's a great one. Actually, I think it might even be more in first edition. Razor Lizard. Gift card. There's another good one. Like, I'm just going to be pulling out a lot of good commons. Shield Spear. And a Fossil Tusker. That is a weird looking artwork. That's straight up anime stuff right there. 
which it's Yu-Gi-Oh! the card game. It's anime, so it makes sense, but yeah, just more anime. All right, let's open up this Duels Pack Battle City, which by the way, uh, the Arcana Art Dark Magician in here, if it gets like a PSA 10, it's super expensive. There's the spoiler, but I just wanted to mention that. I saw that the PSA 10 of the Arcana Art Dark Magician is insane. Double Time Wizard, that's super weird, okay? Uh, time magic. So if you guys do have that Arcana, the red dark magician, and it's in like perfect condition, you might want to consider grading it. And since PSA is supposedly going to open up next week, it might be a good time to send that in because that thing is pretty pricey if it gets a 10. Look at this. You guys see this? What is up with this? <laughs> Stuck to my finger. Okay. Convert contact. We've got a dark effigy. Hero counterattack. Venom Snake, and here we go. Crystal Seer, we've got an ultra rare card. There we go, our first ultra rare of the opening. Okay, then we got Ringe, it's Ritual Raven. Okay, so pretty good start. We've got some good commons, we got a good rare, we got a couple foils, not bad. Not a bad way to start. Let's try another Dark Revelation one. Let's see if we can pull something epic. Alright, made sure we started our camera after that debacle yesterday or two days ago. Because you guys saw Metal Raiders live yesterday, which is pretty cool. So hopefully it went well. This is before, obviously. We got Oppressed People. That's a cool one. 2,000 defense for the Oppressed People. That is very Renaissance looking. I don't know. That's cool. I like that. Pandemonium Watch Bear. Amazonist Paladin. Kiryu. Great Phantom Thief. Mephis the Infernal General. Gen General. And Spell Vanishing is the rare. I guess that means no foils. What that means? Miracle Restoring. We got the Archfiend's Roar. Cestus of Dogla. Card Shuffle. And Morale Boost. There's the Warrior Die Greffer. He's in so many artworks. All right. Tactical Evolution. Can we pull a Seeker Rare? I've never been able to pull one, guys. I pull Ultras. I pulled Supers. Ghosts. Ultimates. No Secrets. Flint Missile. We've got a Flint Lock. We opened 100 packs at once. We didn't do it. Well, it was like multiple videos, I think. But Chrysalis Larva. Rise of the Snake Deity. And a Zombie Master. This is a pretty good super rare, actually. This one is very nice. Zombie Master. Once per turn, you can send one monster card from your hand to the graveyard to special summon on level 4 lower zombie. That's really good. Out of either player's graveyard. That's super good. That is very good. Alien Shock Trooper, 1900. That's a good one. Uh, a little bit late on the 1900 four star, but still pretty cool. Okay, next pack. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to like it, subscribe. We're going to have more epic videos in the future like this. Old school openings, GX, 5Ds, all that stuff. Razor Lizard. Hopefully, we're going to pull a ghost in this video for you guys. Shield Spear. I'd take Double Rainbow. I would take it. Rainbow Cobra. Or Rainbow Cobra. Venom Cobra. Flint Missile. That's not a Rainbow Dragon. And damage. Riptile. There we go. Amulet of Ambition. And Crystal's Penny. Not bad, not bad. So far, nothing insane, but we've had some good pulls. There's not too many insane cards out of um, Tactical Evolution. We would need like a big secret or like the Ghost Rare or, an, or one of the best Ultimate Rares. We got a Larva. Rise of the Snake Deity. Dawnbreak Gardener. And. Symbols of Duty. Okay, Creature Seizure. Penny and Strike Slash. Okay, we're still searching for something big. That's okay. Rainbow Dragon. We should have brought out the Rainbow Dragon PSA 9 that we pulled just to bring us some luck. There's an Ojama Knight. We're, we're not pulling too many of those. That's a good one, though. Razor Lizard. We've got the Shield Spear. Venom Cobra. And the Phantom Dragon Ray Bronto. Okay. Venom Shot and the King Pirate. Let's try another Dark Revelation 1. And let's see if we can pull something insane. Can we pull the Exodia Necros? We've pulled them in first edition before. That'd be pretty cool to do it here. And double in uh, Unlimited. We got Mephis. United Resistance. Amazonist Blowpiper. Guardian Bow. Vampire Orchest. Arsenal Summoner. And Spell Vanishing, that's like the same pack as last time. Jar Robber, oh yeah, there's the creepy Jar Robber. So far, nothing out of those DR packs. We're not having too much luck there. Okay, Tactical Evolution. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. Rise of the Snake Deity again. Dawn Break Guard, we've seen these guys a lot. Small set, Convert Contact, Dark Effigy. I'm down with seeing a Rainbow Dragon. 
Ooh, a desert twister. That's pretty cool. Ultra rare. But look at those corners. Oh my goodness. You guys see that? Okay, wait. You guys can't see it for some reason. There it is. You see that ding? And then right in the middle, there's a ding. It's double dinged, unfortunately. Did we get gypped on this? We're going to have to check out these other packs because this looks like something that got reinserted. All right, time out. We got to check out these other cards. Okay, these look legit, but the commons or whatever. Let's check out the foils. Let's check out the foils. Oh, wow. These look like they've been played. Time out, time out. What's the super rare look like? Okay, this one looks a little better. But like these, these are so scratched up like they've been played. Okay, that is weird. That's weird, guys. Definitely not looking promising. All right. This one is certainly not pack fresh. I mean, look at that, guys. Wow, that is not good. That is not good at all. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have to open the rest of these packs and see if we get anything. Because, yeah, those look played. Those don't look those don't look like they've been uh, packed fresh. Maybe these are resealed. This one looks pretty good. The supers look fine. I mean, but how do these packs look? Maybe that's why they were so sticky. Or like that part got stuck to my thumb. Oh yeah, this is not looking too good, guys. All right, we're gonna have to finish this. We're gonna have to finish this video out. I don't know what we're gonna do about this. Next pack. We're going to try them out. We're, I mean, we're pulling stuff, but they are it seems like they're resealed. Okay, we're going to have to keep an eye on how these open. So they're like sticking there. Very good chance that these are resealed. So we're going to go through these a little bit quicker. Because I have a suspicion that these are resealed. Which is not good. Which is unfortunate. Kind of kills our vibe. Watch there be like a ghost in here or something. <laughs> they put a... Oh, a snake rain. Okay. Well, like... It looks like they possibly, if this is actually a resale. So, I mean, though, but those, there's no way a, pack, a card comes out of the pack like that. They probably weighed them and then resealed them. That's probably what happened. So, I don't know. We're going to have to wait till we find another foil and see if, maybe like down there, maybe the, maybe it's only the packs with foils. Let's see. Thousand Eyes Jellyfish, because obviously, I mean, these packs are, you can't really, like, sell these or anything, because they're definitely sketchy right now. We got Flint Missile, Phalanx Pike, okay, and Ringe Gatekeeper. All right, the whole, the whole mood of this is video changed, so we're, we're just going to find out what's going on here. Because right now, it's looking a little bit sketchy. Oh, Jama Knight, okay. We're going to pull out the good comments, because at least they're in good condition. All right. Uh, the D the DR4 and the uh, and the tactical evolution came from the same place, so we're gonna see what the deal with these is. Okay, the super rares look okay. Is like has let me know, guys, in the comments. Have you guys ever seen a foil come out with scratching like that on the back? Like a play, it looks played. Like I've never seen that kind of scr like you can have a scratch from the factory, but it wouldn't be whoa. What is this? What is this? What is up with that? You guys see that? There's a triangle on it. What in the world is going on? Okay, look at this. You guys see this? It's like dark on this border and there's a triangle. I have never ever seen that. Okay, that's like a weird misprint. That is super weird. This is the weirdest opening. I don't know what's going on. But that is definitely some sort of misprint. Like, it was like it got printed and there was like something on top of it, but it still like printed it. It just, pr it was like maybe, I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that is. That's like kind of awesome looking though. All right, that's going in the hit pile. I don't know. All right, we're going to keep opening these uh, DR4s as well because we have not pulled anything at all out of these. So maybe they will, maybe they'll be good. We're going to go through them like this. X head, yeah, there's the pull. Ultimate Obedient Fiend, that's cool. Oh no, there it is. You can get a super. So there's a, a spell shield. Spell Shield, it has scuffing on the back, but that's like, that can be out of the pack. So that one looks probably fine. 
probably fine. Sorry, I'm going through these quick. I'm trying to figure out what the deal is. I don't know. Maybe we should just keep it up like we were. It's it's weird how... The, but, like, why would you... Unless the packs were replaced, like, good cards were replaced with played ultras. Spear shield. I don't know what else the deal would be. This is so weird. This is so weird. I'm confused. Because so far, all the supers have been in fine shape. Like pack fresh shape or whatever but the ultras were both played which is very odd grave keepers chief amazon is archers there's another super rare so we're gonna see if we pull anything that's not a super rare oh look at that look at that that's that's played that's got to be resealed i mean look at the back of this wow this is crazy this is absolutely crazy Yeah, these are definitely messed with, for sure. Yeah, this guy definitely pulled one over on us, that's for sure. I highly doubt I'm getting a refund on these guys. I highly doubt it. Oh, well. What better way? There's another Desert Twister. There's another played copy. Yep. Played on the back. Wow. 80k. <laughs> what better way than to get scammed? And people always say I get scammed all the time, which I usually don't, but I legitimately did get scammed this time. I should have opened these before I paid for them. Does this one even have a rare? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so we're, this this one hurts a little bit. I'm glad I didn't really resell these, though. Because otherwise, that would be, that would be bad. I'm glad that I at least opened them and took the L here. Okay, this is great. Fantastic, guys. This is, you, loose packs. So, yeah. We'll see how this resolves. We'll see how this resolves. I don't think it's going to go well, to be honest. But we can try. Wait, is there a rare in there? There it is. Legendary Flame Lord. Mecha Main King's pretty good. At least get the good commons out of here, you know? Got to get back what we can. Will we still... I don't know if we should still open this LLB in this video. Maybe we should wait for a different video. Because this is just... Uh, crazy. Fifth Hope. The bat, the supers look pretty good. The supers look pretty good. Aim load of ambition. We're, we're not going to pull anything good though, obviously, because they're resealed. So they took out the good stuff and put in played cards or or regular supers. Acrobat monkey, rope of life. Okay. All right. So. All right. Okay. I don't even know what to say at this point. Ojama Knight, Marine Neos. Unfortunate, guys. Unfortunate. A few packs left. Let's see if... Uh, I don't even know what to look for. We can't really expect to pull anything. Really eternal rest and different... We're pulling like the same cards. It's really weird. Four packs left. We've got a Dawnbreak Gardener, Fossil Tusker, and Light Effigy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to do a different ADK special because this is... Certainly not what we were looking to uh, to do. I'm glad that I opened them, though. There's another one. Look at this. That weird misprint. That is so weird. That is very weird. I don't know what the deal with that is. So we've had misprints. We've had scams. This is crazy. All right. What will we get? Any more scam ultras? We got a nice Ojama Knight. We got a Necro Gardener. Okay. Super rare. And reverse Neos. Okay. Last pack of the scam, guys. Um, it is 80k, so I figure we should at least open that little B. I know those aren't a scam. Maybe we'll have some good karma that will uh, help us out here. Hunter Dragon and Venom Boa. Okay, so that was disappointing. Obviously, no one wants to get scammed. It happens, but uh, yeah. I'll try, I'll try and contact the guy, but obviously if he scammed me, if it was him, then he's not going to refund me. And if it wasn't him, then he's probably not going to accept it. So, But because it's 80k, we're going to open these anyway. Maybe we'll have some good karma after that. Pull something good. Two of these, we don't even know if they're heavy. So these were lighter. These were around the poly weight. So maybe we'll get supers. We'll see. First edition Legend of Blue Eyes. All right. Can this turn our mood around a little bit? First edition LOB. Here we go. We've got Dark King of the Abyss. So, so far, let's recap what we've gotten out of my loose packs. We've gotten a Polymerization, Flame Swordsman, and Dark Magician. Check out that video up there. If you guys didn't see when we pulled the Dark Magician, it was insane. Hopefully, we can pull something insane. It was Secret Rare, Trihorn Dragon, 
Blue Eyes White Dragon, stuff like that. All right, Dark King of the Abyss. We've got a Fiend Reflection number two. Spike Cedra. That's cool. Mammoth Graveyard. All right. Shoot the uh, Living Arrow card into the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And. Curse of Dragon. Super rare. Very nice. Look at that center. Woo! That is really bad. The centering on these supers has not been good, but. Oh, look, they've got a little bit of scuffs on it, too. Unfortunately, but that's okay. Still a really cool card. I don't think I've ever pulled this one in first edition. So that is pretty cool. Very nice. That looks very, very nice. No print lines, it looks like, which is nice. Centering not too good, but we got a super. So the scaling seems to have worked, which is really cool. We got a Fire Yaru, Succubus, Tai Hone, and the Enchanting Mermaid. All right, next pack, we have first edition Legend of Blue Eyes, guys. Here we go. Can we pull something insane? So, so far, we're 4 for 4 on the scaling. I don't know if it's going to work again, but so far, it's working. We have a Metabat. That's pretty cool. 800 attack. Sandstone. Very nice. Lesser Dragon. Not quite a great dragon. A little bit lesser. Masaki, the Legendary Swordsman. That's a good one. And finally, the final pull. Here we go. There's a rare Cherubin the Fire Knight. So it looks like we hit our first rare. Trial of Hell, that is a great super rare card. Centering is a little bit better, not great. And Larvis, okay. So one out of two foils, so it looks like I have two that are heavier. So maybe we miss the secret, that's probably what's going to happen. Or the secret is in a lighter pack, which is definitely possible. So this was an absolutely weird video. It was crazy, I'm going to contact the guy. Unlikely that I'll get my money back, but at least we did get a super rare Curse of Dragon in this video. To make up for at least some of it. That is a pretty cool card. Definitely epic artwork. Gotta love that one. So once again, thank you guys for 80k. That's the positive side of this video. That's pretty awesome. I appreciate all you guys who subscribed. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Dark Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!